everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about the Canon C70 and how we can easily rig this out in multiple configurations. You know, by far, this is the most basic, you know, just the camera, your hand, and the little flippy screen. But this doesn't work for a lot of different types of shoots. So we can do a few things to make it easier or more complicated, however <laughs> you want to look at it. So let's go ahead and uh, start building this out. So the first thing we can do is throw a decent microphone on here. And this is the, the stuff that comes with the C70. It's just this is off the handle. You know, now we got a pretty decent 48 volt microphone, which is the Octava MK12. You know, that way you can get decent audio if you just want to shoot, you know, and have people talking in front. So just an easy way of slapping a microphone on here and not adding much to your kit and keep going. So let's build it out a little more. All right, for the next configuration, all we did was throw on the top handle and move the microphone up to the top. So that way, if you want to do, you know, those little angle shots, you can just drop it down. Or if you want to hold this, I don't know why you'd do that, but <laughs> some people do, you know, so this is where you got a microphone and a top handle and easy for carrying. So just another easy thing to do. All right, everybody. So basically the same configuration, but this time we added on a tentacle sync for time code, plugged down here into the BNC connector. So now you can run time code, you know, if you want to sync up another mic or something that's farther away. So, and I just have it Velcroed here to the handle. Just an easy setup. So that way you can have a microphone and time code. So just another idea. All right, everybody. So here's another simple rig with just time code on it. And this is in the hot shoe or cold shoe rig from Tentacle. Yeah, that. so I can't remember where I got this rig from. But I'll put all the links in the description. So here's just another easy way of carrying your time code. Or, if you don't want to use this, there is a way of using this thread on the side, the, uh, the vertical screw or the vertical nut or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> that you can actually screw this into here, but, eh, you know, that's in the way I like having this padding right here and the handle and holding it like this. So, just another easy way of getting time code and having it out of the way. So let's go ahead and go to the next one. All right, everybody. So here we are with this, just a basic Atomos Ninja 5 or V, however you want to say it on top. Up, you know, on top of a little small rig, cold shoe, a hot shoe mount, you know, and you can bend this back and forth, no problem. So here's another like quick run and gun setup. You know, if you want that bigger five inch monitor, um, I can also have a seven inch monitor I can throw on here. So the seven inch is, even though it's bigger, it's actually less weight because it's just a monitor, not a recorder. So I could be rocking that too and shooting and just another quick idea. So this is, I like this run and gun setup, you know, and maybe stick a microphone on top or something like that. But this is one of my favorite run and gun setups. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, everybody. So here we are with the shoulder rig for the C70. So as you can see right here, I got an Atomos Ninja 5, and this is a Zakuda ACT basic recoil rig. So you can use this curved arm for a EVF if you want up to your eye, but instead I put a monitor on it, you know, with a HDMI cable. We have a microphone sitting on top, which happens to be the Octava MK12. And here's the other side. So this is actually a very stable setup. And let me twist over here. And right here, I got a tentacle sink hooked up with a BNC connector for time code right here in the front, as you can see. And because they come with a uh, piece of Velcro on them, I just put a piece of Velcro on there and wrapped it around the handle. So this is my shoulder rig setup for the Canon C70. And it's pretty stable. You know, most of the weight is on my shoulder. 
and I can just kind of spin around and, um, you know, walk around and keep an eye out on things. And so this is an easier way to shoot with, you know, all this on your, on your shoulder, basically, you know, I could put another outrigger handle on here if I wanted to, but I like holding it up here. And of course my right hand on a grip that's on a rosette that you can move in, you know, in any position. So, so this is the basic shoulder rig. And let me go ahead and get out of this and we'll get back to the regular shot. Thanks. All right, everybody. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick look at the Canon C70 and how to rig it out, you know, from the very simple to the more complicated. I'm waiting for the Zakudu, Zakudu, Zakuda, Zakuda. I can't even talk. Zakudu, Zakudo. <laughs> I can't. Well, you know what I mean. EVF, and it's an optical EVF that I'm going to try to run on my basic setup because sometimes that little screen's a little hard to see during, uh, you know, bright daylight. But, you know, you can throw a monitor on it too. So I just want to try that Zakudu EVF that's an optical EVF, not electronic EVF. So. Just waiting for it. They're a little bit behind on shipping and parts and stuff like that. So I should be getting here in a week or two. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick look at the Canon C70 and rigging it out. Thank you everybody for watching and for listening. I greatly appreciate it. Have a great day or night, everybody. Happy shooting. Thank you.